All right, so if you're ever out working on bikings and there's an issue with the way the speed control is, uh, here's a helpful tip. And what I mean by that is if whenever you're running the machines, especially in dual, but if you're running the machines um, and you see one of them starts to open or starts to close, but then it hesitates and then it runs back at a slower speed, uh, sometimes the processor in here for the logic on the speed control just gets out of whack. And um, I think it has more to do with uh, static discharge from storms. Even though they can handle a lot of lightning and they'll protect themselves, it doesn't necessarily mean it won't corrupt some data in the processor. And so sometimes you just need to reset the board and it's really easy to do because you get it in one of the positions. Like right now I'm in the closed position, so I'm going to reach in here with my hand and I'm going to hold the other limit switch and these lights start flashing on the board. Just hold it down for 10 seconds. And let go. And that clears out its memory on its speed control for the limits, right? So I've already done this. I kind of wish I started recording sooner, but I didn't. So you didn't get, actually get to see the behavior. But when I did that, it cleared out that corrupted data and went back to behaving normally and everything's testing out okay and so i just want to share that that's a really helpful is some people will actually send these boards in to the manufacturer for warranty when they don't need to and cycling power doesn't always solve the problem uh actually cycling power i've never found solves the problem uh because they store it in the memory as static so trigger both limit switches let the board do its little flashy thing for 10 seconds, let go, and then try to operate the machine, and you'll be surprised. Also, it's going to run a little slower during the first cycle. Once it sees another limit switch, it'll go back to its normal operating speed, and you'll probably see that it's behaving the way that it should before you go wasting time with trying to send a board in under warranty. I promise you, this has solved a lot of problems for me. That little trick. And that will work on um, all the swingers. Um, even the old school sliders. I'm not quite sure how you would solve that problem with the new school V-Flex sliders. Um, but uh, even G5s, I wanted to point that out. Like This is the F1. You can do that trick on T21s. You can do it on F, uh, R6s, the G5s, those four models, and the old school sliders that had the physical limit switches. Okay, and now they're back to behaving normally. And the overlap delay for this dual swing with the maglock is functioning properly. So the master launched off three seconds before... The slave, now the master's going to come to its proper stop. And the slave, which yes, is bent. Somebody hit it. I didn't put it in these gates. And now the maglock uh, uh, strike plate has come in contact appropriately. And when you open it, the slave opens first, and then the master. So we're back to it behaving properly because when I came out here, what was happening is the master was starting to move. And then it would kind of stop, go into a slowdown speed, and then continue on very slowly. And so the sleigh would actually close too soon, and they would get in a bind in the closed position. And nothing solved the problem other than holding down the limit switches so that it reset the memory in the board. It resets the board, according to the manufacturer. And this is, a, this is something they've been able to do ever since the beginning with the first-gen boards. It's not a new thing, it's just not common knowledge.